In this video, we will show you how to replace your front grille assembly on this year 2003 to 2011 Mercury Grand Marquis. Let's get started. All right, friends, let's get started on our job. To gain access, let's go ahead and remove this plastic panel that comes across the front under the hood. To do that, you'll find that you have three of these push clips. For each of them, all you have to do is turn it counterclockwise and lift it up and out. There should be one in the center right here, and then there's one at the far end. Once you've done that, go ahead and remove this from the vehicle. You're going to have to have the hood in the upright position. Once you've done that, continue on with an angled pick. Along the bottom of the grill, you're going to find that you have three locking tabs that you need to dislodge. One here, one closer to the badge in the center, and another one over towards the passenger side. Let's start over towards the passenger side first. I'll be using my angled pick. Carefully grab onto that grill. As I do, I can see that the clip wants to start pulling out. So I'll pull on this, push down on the clip, and gently pry this out a little bit. Once you have one dislodged, continue down the line. Now let's make our way to the back side of the grill. Up along the top here, you'll find that you have five 11 millimeter mounting nuts holding this in place. Make your way down the line, removing each as you go. Carefully remove the grill from the bumper. Now we can start removing our badge. Over on the bench, we'll have a look at this from the back side. On the back here, you'll find that you have a 10 millimeter mounting nut. Remove it. Now at this point, we can carefully lift this up, leaving the badge where it lays. All right, friends, let's start preparing our brand new grill. Start with the badge. We'll place this in position, turn the grill over, install your one mounting nut. Once you have the badge on there, continue on with the parts that were in your mounting kit. You'll find that you have three of these clips. They go into each of these three ears. We'll make our way across. Now we can start installing all five of our mounting studs. You'll find, looking at the studs, you have an area that has coarse threading. The area with the coarse threading needs to fit directly into each of these holes, making its way down across the grill. Go ahead and start this in, and snug it up with a 10 millimeter socket. Do the same to all.
Over at the vehicle, we can start sliding this into position, making sure that each of our lower clips line up with their mounting holes. After you feel as though they're lined up, go ahead and gently press it in. Line up your studs, install your mounting nuts. Now we can start installing our mounting hardware. On ours, I'm going to be using a washer with a nut. We'll start each of these on here and then we can snug them up. All right, let's put on our plastic panel here. We'll start in the center. Now we'll carefully put each side down into place as well. It's in place, continue on with each of your push clips. There should be one in the center. Get our last one on here. Okay friends, we've got the grill installed on the vehicle. The last thing you wanna do is just make sure that it's completely secured and shut the hood. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.